So in this video, we're going to talk about one of the effector functions or effector mechanisms of complement activation. So complement can be activated by one of three pathways, alternative, lectin, or classical. All three pathways will lead to complement fixation, specifically C3B proteins covalently attached to the surface of the pathogen. Then that can trigger all three of these effector functions. In this video, we're going to talk about this effector function, the membrane attack complex that can form and poke holes literally in the surface of the pathogen. So let's see how that happens. So uh, this is, we're going to start off our starting point, since we just previously talked about the alternative pathway of complement activation, is we'll start with the alternative C3 convertase. And if you recall, the alternative C3 convertase is a protease that is made up of two proteins, C3B, which is covalently attached to the surface of the pathogen, and the protein BB. This is a C3 convertase. And we know what it does. C3 convertases cleave, the fact, uh, cleave C3 into C3A and C3B. C3A we'll talk about later. It's an anaphylatoxin. C3B, what does C3B do? We talked about having a very reactive thiol ester group and can fix to the surface of the pathogen, complement fixation. We covered that in a previous video. But now I'm going to describe something else that can happen. When this alternative C3 convertase cleaves C3 into C3 and C3B, the C3B actually can do one, something else. And what it can do, it can actually bind and stick to this alternative C3 convertase. So instead of fixing to the surface of the pathogen on its own, it's actually now joined the alternative C3 convertase complex. So now we have this uh, three unit, com three protein complex stuck on the surface of a pathogen. It is made of two C3Bs and BB. Interesting. Well, I'm going to tell you that this complex is a different protease. It is going to make up the protease that we're going to call the alternative C5 convertase. So we have the alternative C3 convertase fixed to the surface of the pathogen, which is made of C3B and BB. And now we have a new protease, which uh, is made of C3B, another C3B, and BB. This is the alternative C5 convertase. It is fixed to the surface of the pathogen. Interesting. So we have a protease that help cleave and make a new protease. So what is the C5 convertase going to do? Well, it's in the name, and here's a protein, C5. It's a complement protein. You make it, it's in your humors, it's in your fluids, it's in your interstitial fluid. And if complement's being activated, um, what's going to happen is the alternative C5 convertase, which is made uh, via the alternative pathway, uh, can be made via the alternative pathway, um, C5 will be, guess what's going to happen to C5? It's going to get cleaved by the C5 convertase. In this instance, we're talking about the alternative C5 convertase. There's another one. We'll get to that later. So what's going to happen to C5? C5 is going to get cleaved. That's all right. C5 convertase, cleave C5 into C5A and C5B. Interesting. What do these things do? Well, C5A, we'll get to a later video, anaphylatoxin. But let's talk about C3. C5B here. When C5B is now present, C5B will now associate with more complement proteins, C6, C7, C8, and this these proteins will uh, can enter the membrane of pathogens. So here, let's say this is a bacteria, and that's a bacterial membrane. C5, C6, I'm sorry, C5B, C6, C7, and C8 um, will form a complex and insert into the membrane of the bacteria. This will attract another complement protein called C9. And C9 will come and build around these other proteins to form a pore in the surface of the bacterial membrane. 
So this complex of C5 protein, I'm sorry, C5B protein, C6, C7, C8, and multiple C9 proteins, I'm not drawing multiple ones in here, form a complex known as the MAC, the membrane attack complex. It is sometimes uh, drawn as C5B-9, and that's just referring to the proteins C5B, C6, C7, C8, all the way to C9. And so when membrane attack complexes um, are formed, that is an effector mechanism to help destroy the pathogen. So in this instance here, and we're talking about the alternative pathway of complement activation, uh, you'll see, to sort of summarize, we have uh, alternative C3 convertase forming, and that can cleave C3s, and the C3 and C3B, which will lead to some complement fixation, but can also lead to the formation of the alternative C5 convertase. When the alternative C5 bases convertase forms, it will start cleaving C5s, and you'll have a bunch of C5Bs, which will bind with C6, C7, C8s into the membrane, recruit in C9s, and they form this nice pore. And what's going to happen to this uh, pathogen? Uh, it's going to, I don't know, deflate like a balloon. It's going to drain. Uh, the innards are going to come out, and this pathogen is going to be dead. So this is another effector function of complement. Um, uh, what, no matter which pathway of complement is activated, we're going to see the formation of membrane attack complexes, which will help get rid of pathogens.